Sup. We have this Cole Bennett cartoon drawing thing that he's been doing in a lot of his music videos. I'm going to show you the Super Boo one that just came out, but you can kind of do the same thing for the Ransom part. Let me know if you guys want a Ransom tutorial, and I'll show you how to do that. You're going to need Photoshop for this effect. I know I kind of clip it in the title, you can do it in Premiere, but you're going to need Photoshop. If you have Premiere, you can probably get Photoshop however the way you got it. You might be able to do an After Effects, but you know, just doing Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Uh, follow my Instagram, subscribe, and all that. So to start off, like I said before, you're going to need Photoshop for this tutorial. If you have Premiere, you should be able to get it however way you got it. And yeah, so that being said, let's get into it. So here's my clip. It's just a different part of the music video. And I'm going to choose a place where I want the effect to happen. So let's say right here is where I want it to happen. I want to select my clip and then cut it. You can do that by using the cut tool, but I have a shortcut on my keyboard. So once I cut it, it'll be super simple. Make sure your cursor is right where you cut it. So right in between the cuts. Click this little export frame and then make sure the path is wherever you want it to be. But make sure this import into project is selected. Name it whatever you want, just click OK. Now you'll go to your project, um, you know, project panel here. You'll see that the picture has been imported. Drag it onto your timeline right above to where you want it to be, to where your cursor was. And I'm just going to cut this down to make it even. So now we have a picture. So you're going to right click your PNG picture and then edit in Adobe Photoshop. This will open up Photoshop. And the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to mask out your actor or whoever you want to do. And so this is kind of aesthetic choice, but the way Cole does it is just kind of roughly around the person and it kind of gives the aesthetic of I don't know roughness if you guys get what I'm saying but there's no way to do it just you know do it however so right now I have this uh, once you like your mask you're going to want to right click and select inverse and then on your keyboard press Control X and it'll just select your person you want to select so once you have this now you want to go to the filter up here, the filter tab, click that, click noise, click add noise, and this is already pretty much pretty good, 18.2, but you can play around with this to see how much noise you want. But around you know 10 to 20, like 18, 20 is be the best. Uh, click OK, and then we'll have this. Now you can go on with this, but I'm just gonna do it one more step. So right here where it says adjustments, you can also go to image adjustments. Right here where it says adjustments, where it says um, black and white, click that, and then your image will turn black and white like he does in some of the ones. Now let's say I don't want it black and white, I want it the yellow tint like he did in some of the ones. All I have to do is click this little tint button right here, and I'll have the yellow tint, and I can change this to more yellow and gold as I want. So I'm just going to change it to something that looks pretty good, which is about right here, and there we go. Okay, so for the next step, if you're still with me, go down to the bottom right right here where this little kind of save button that looks like a save button. Click that and that'll make a new layer. Now on the new layer selected, check, uh, click your brush tool right here. You can hold it down, brush tool. Now Cole uses a specific type of brush and I really don't want to be looking for that. So you can go to Google and look up free Photoshop brushes and find the exact brush. But for now, I'm gonna use just a default brush, which I think it is a default brush. It's in dry media brushes. It's gonna be Cal's Ultimate Charcoal Pencil. And so, you know, you can go through all the brushes right here, but that's just me going off. So dry brushes in Kyle's Ultimate Charcoal Pencil. And then make sure the color is black. And now you want to want to start doing is just marking over the outline. Uh, what you can do if, if it's too small, you can just click right here, the size, and size it up. Now I have a si big size brush. Now here again is kind of the aesthetic of grunginess, if that makes sense. Um, you don't want to make it super perfect because the aesthetic comes from it being not perfect. So I'm just doing short strokes like that and to getting it something, you know, like this. Now, this brush size is a little bit too big, but 
you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to go for here. Um, now I'm just going to do it again just so you guys can get something like what I'm trying to do. Now this might be too small, so it's definitely a play around to get what you like and how you want it to be. Uh, but I'm not going to do it again. So I'm just going to go around as an outline around my subject in short brush strokes like this to give it the aesthetic feel. And then now, there's if you look at his, there's a lot of detail. So let me show you real quick. There's a lot of detail. So you have big brush strokes, uh, small brush strokes like in his eyebrows and stuff, and then just the different ones. Now, you know, if you want it to look like his, obviously pay attention to detail, but I don't want to bore you guys. So I'm just going to play around with the sizes and I'm going to size his eyebrows, size his eyeballs, maybe make an X, go around his lips, his nose, his hair is one that you're going to want to do a lot of like that. And then outline his shirt, but I'm going to bring the brush size up to about that big maybe that's a little bit too big go down back to 2018 like that okay and then just make rough outline like I said again it's part of the aesthetic and if you see this is more going towards ransom but you guys get the gist going here like that and then now we have something like that which is kind of similar but like I said, it just goes back to your artistic aesthetic and how you want it to look. So now you've finished with your painting and stuff. You want to click File, Save As, and then save it in wherever folder. I have it right here, so I'm going to click name it wherever you want, Done To or whatever. Click OK. Now go back to Premiere. Click that. Where it says this project window right here, double click that. And then import your Done To. And then on just merge all layers since you just want to merge all layers. Now you can go back to your timeline and where you made the cuts in your clip, just delete that picture and then drag this PSD onto where that cut is. And then I'm going to trim it up just so it looks nice. Now he, what I'm assuming is 24 frames a second video. He uses four frames, so that's a fourth of a second. So go to your sequence and go to your sequence settings I'm using a 24 frame sequence so f that so a fourth of a second would be four frames sorry if I'm confusing you guys but let's say you're using a 60 frame per second sequence a, four, a fourth of a second would be 15 frames so since I'm 24 I'm gonna want to go one two three four and then split the clip and then that'll be as long as he did it for and so we have that and then if you want it to look a little bit different or what he did he gave some emphasis onto some of them by clicking on the PSD layer going to effect controls keyframing the scale from the beginning and then to the end just go uh, type in 115 or something similar and then it'll pop up like that and if you just keep on doing this continuously you'll have something like this but like I said again, the brush uh, the brush is different than mine, and I don't want to find it. And it just goes back to artistically how you want it to look and where your outlines want to be. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, peace out later.